Hello, my luscious flowers. Today we are going to explore romantic styling. In my view, anybody can dress in this flirty, sexy, feminine way. The desire is what you need. You don't need any body type, any shape, any facial essence, anything like that. The important thing is just to approach it in a way that feels comfortable and authentic to you. And I'm gonna take you through the colors, silhouettes, accessories, everything you need to understand how to create this flirty or sexy effect with your style. And I'm gonna talk about the styling in relation to the style key, which is my system for personal style. Okay, so first let's talk about the overall story. There are two flavors to this styling, so I call them flirty and sexy. To me, the idea of the flirty aesthetic is to spread the idea of love. A flirty person is somebody with an open heart who is meeting the world with charm and playful warmth. Flirty vibes for me are about being open and engaged with the world in this playful, slightly vulnerable and inviting way. The idea of this sexy aesthetic is to embody that primal confidence and beauty of you as a person. So dressing in a sexy way does not mean that you're trying to seduce everybody or that you deserve to be reduced to a sex object, but it is about enhancing your confidence with yourself and your body and your right to enjoy the sensual sexy part of life, which is a core aspect of being for most people. I think the biggest obstacle to dressing sexy and flirty is the confidence because you can feel like a caricature, like you're trying to dress like the image of a sexy woman, but not really feeling that way. And that just takes away the confidence. I also think people feel like, yeah, they need to have a specific body, face, mannerism, whatever, to be flirty or sexy. But the truth is we all have our own sexy and flirty side. And in the video, I'm gonna help you explore that dimension of your style by showing you all the different ways that it can be done so you can figure out what feels authentic for you. So a quick word of clarity is that I am basing this aesthetic breakdown on analysis of thousands of images and the help of my amazing assistant page. I know this is not a complete list of everything people might find sexy, so please don't take it that way. I also wanna note that of course you don't need to dress in a feminine way to be flirty or sexy, but the romantic feminine lens is something that so many of my clients want help with, so that's why I'm focusing on that in this video. Let's just get right into it. First, let's talk about the colors. So you feel more exposed, more vulnerable in soft colors, nude tones, and that creates that sense of sensuality. Traditionally, soft colors like pinks, purples, pastels, they're all very girly, and I feel like that can give a bit of that flirtatious connotation. Red in all of its shades is often associated with sensuality romance. In general, though, like color is super personal. Being flirty and sexy is about confidence and comfort in your own skin. So the color that lights you up, that makes you feel really confident is a romantic color. So I really encourage you to think outside of kind of like the conventional choice. Next, let's talk about patterns. There's some flirty patterns which have a delicate feminine feel, right? Like florals, gingham, dainty dots and stripes, hearts, maybe even some plaid. It feels sweet and fun. Animal print and nature prints are connected to the physical world, so they have a sensual connotation. So leopard print and big lush florals, I feel, are especially popular and a good starting place. Next up, let's talk about texture. Texture is a huge part of this romantic story. To create that seductive feeling, I love the inviting textures like fur, leather, satin, or even textured knits, like the cable knit just has that dimension that's inviting. And then of course there are sexy textures like mesh, lace, distressing, anything that's somewhat sheer and gives a peek at the skin below. Satin and silk, right, are classic because they're really flowy and that fluidity is very sensual. Combining textures is an easy way to make an outfit feel special, right? So having two or more good textures, so like a lacy camisole or like a bra peeking out from underneath a silky satin shirt, excellent, or like a really soft, thin knit paired with a leather textured skirt or jacket is great. Okay, let's talk about silhouettes next. So the body obviously plays a really important role in sexy and flirty styles. Obviously, body enhancing styles are great here, right? Something tight, something that skims the body or just flows over the body. Necklines are an obvious place for sensuality, whether it's low cut because you want to show your chest or just like beautifully framing their neck and collarbone. For many people, I feel like dresses and skirts are super sensual because they flow over the body and they feel feminine. 
flowy trousers also create that same feeling. Um, accentuating like the waist, the legs, the hands, any part of you that feels pretty sexy is great. Remember that it's not all or nothing. You don't need to be dressed like that sexy girl on Instagram you saw. You can feel so sexy by just playing up one part of your body. And it's important to think about what you feel comfortable showing so that you feel authentic and relaxed. Next up, let's talk about embellishments and decorations. There are so many details which have this sensual vibe. Anything that is related to clothes being removed is sexy, right? So think like buttons, extraneous buttons, the little buttons on the front, zippers, ties, wrap details, leg slits in skirts or dresses, right? Reveal the skin, shirring or ruching, which makes garments hug the body in a very special way. For the flirty look, you have a lot of feminine details that you can play with. So ruffles, gathers, embroidery, embroidery, special buttons, bows. It can all feel like it's part of that like playful, romantic, flirtatious style. And then finally, we have the finishing touches. Okay, shoes. <laughs> okay, they're so important in general, but they are so important. Heels, um, in small heels, straps, shiny textures, embellishments. These are all big favorites. I really want to note that if your shoes feel very unromantic, it can really bring down the whole like sexy flirty vibe of the outfit. So watch out for that. You don't always have to have like the flirty shoes, but it's it's a typical culprit. And then there are lots of other finishing touches, right? Like makeup, hairstyling, like sheer tights, uh, small little bags, special belts that hug the waist, jewelry. All of these things complete the look, make it feel right. Like perfume, your special underwear. There's no one way to do it, right? There's no exhaustive list of what's flirty. But what's important is that you have to have at least one finishing touch on the outfit because that's what gives it that special vibe. So now we've gone through the aesthetic. You can see that by taking ideas from all of these different categories, you can create your own romantic outfit. But now let's talk about tips for each style key. So let's start with the moonstone key for the red down quadrant. You want to connect with what feels romantic, flirty, or sexy to you. So one great idea is to just choose a type of item that you feel comfortable wearing, which makes you feel pretty and feminine and sexy, and then build the outfit from there. And it's great to think about like, where are you gonna go in this so you feel like you're on theme. So if you like showing your collarbones, something like a silky camisole is great. If you like your waist, you wanna start with a wrap style blouse. If you like the curve of your body, then maybe a satin flowy skirt, that's a really good starting point, etc. And then from this starting point, as you build the outfit, you wanna think about the overall story, the aesthetic, what is your vision of sexy or flirty? So one common vision for Moonstone, I call French vintage feminine, the style, you know, red lipstick, the cat eye makeup, it's flowy hair, dark red nails, dainty sparkly jewelry, body skimming, minimal kind of classy silhouettes in um, minimal colors. Another idea I like for you is the ballet core coquette style. So this is flirty, soft, pink, dainty, you know, soft light makeup, bows on everything, soft light colors, wrap details, buttons, a lot of soft knit cuddly textures, dainty strappy shoes inspired by the ballet, the little feminine bags. These are all a great way to complete that type of look. And then a third idea I call the whimsical retro preppy. This is feminine flirty and specifically not really sexy. So this style is soft, it's colorful, it's vintage inspired, it's kind of tailored, it's preppy, it's bright, and it's cheerful. Okay, now let's talk about Ruby Key for the left down quadrant. So your goal is to connect with your inner sexy, flirty and feminine side. Movement is a really good keyword for you. You can start with an item that moves with you in a pleasant way, that's you feeling in your sexy, flirty energy. So like a skirt with a slit, always a great start. Soft, flowy trousers that hug your legs and kind of flow with them. Or a swishy, soft kimono, duster jacket, big cardigan, right? The movement connects to the body. And it could be a pair of shoes you like, whatever. Just start with the movement. And then as always, I'm going to recommend showing and hiding. So you start with something that's eye-catching, like pushing boundaries, bold, right? That's the showy part. Bright red body hugging dress or, or top, right? The bright red top, mesh top, or like a really open low cut blouse, something like that. And then from the showing, you add layers on top to make it feel protective, right? Giant sweater, pair with this like super short skirt, or like a big cardigan over lingerie, right? So you're doing this show hide thing, maybe something really bright, with something dark on top. So find the balance you want using that technique. One theme for you is confidence and power. 
what makes you feel strong if strength is kind of what leads you to feeling sexy it's good so again colors what makes you feel strong could be bright like red pink orange could be something earthy grounded what about makeup like smudged eyes i feel or red nails or heavy rings are all very powerful powerful heeled shoes really bold pattern these things are all good. Another theme is soft and receptive, right? That's the other side. So what makes you feel kind of vulnerable, approachable, and tender? Soft nude colors, revealing shapes, makeup that kind of outlines your features, lacy details, cutouts, dainty jewelry, sweet patterns, all of those are good ideas. Now let's talk about amethyst key for the left up quadrant. It's important to find your personal flavor of sexy or flirty, and then you wanna express it visually so a good idea for you is to always start with a fluid base right shapes and textures that let you really move with ease so this could be like a body hugging midi dress or you know favorite jeans and a blouse and then from this fluid base you want to add things so when you feel that it's too minimal for you you feel too vulnerable and you're not really able to be your flirty sexy self so you want to keep adding extras and details until you feel sufficiently visible and comfortable. I have some visual themes for you. So first, I call flirtation with chaos. This is good if you have an intriguing presence and this aesthetic is eye-catching, it's indulgent, it's layers. I love anything like clashing, too much, over the top. Basically, it's like a peacock, right? You're inviting attention and you're playing with that attention and that's very flirtatious. Second, I'm gonna call this the aloof dominatrix, credit to Ivana. Wonderful if you have a sensual essence and want to channel it through a dramatic, mysterious, even intimidating way. I love dark florals, dark colors in general, lace textures, tights, lingerie details, lace up details, like bold jewelry, right? It's like strong, but sensual. And third, we're gonna call the femme fatale mob wife fantasy, right? So this is also on the sensual side, but it's more glamour based, kind of the expensive, luxurious, even like tacky, body hugging, unapologetic, big hair, big jewelry, heels, right? Like bright and bold. And finally, for the sapphire key for the right of quadrant, for you, these styles express a message, right? You might be interested in the power of seduction, you want to light up the world through your flirtatious charm, whatever it is, the starting point for you is going to be to choose the vibe and then create like a visually harmonious outfit. So what matters is that the clothes speak the same language and, you know, it all goes together. But what's super important for you and the thing you really need to focus on is all of the finishing touches from there. We talked about that before, but you want to feel luxurious and kind of like untouchable. This is what makes you feel secure to show your sexy flirty side. So you have to focus on this part. It can be fancy shoes, it can be jewelry, it can be perfume, handbag, makeup, all of these things, a combination of these things. Just put your attention on the finishing details as much as possible. I really cannot stress this enough. So one visual concept I like for you is the extravagant glamorous flirtation. This is light, soft, sweet, delicate, feminine, with soft colors, like girly details. But the way it's done, this kind of coquette, soft stuff, it's done in a way that's loud, <laughs> because it's very bold, it's very intricate, and even though it's like soft, it's making a very strong statement just because you have so many things on. Another vision I have is the Radiant Femme. So here you take some traditional feminine silhouettes like dress or a skirt, you know, heel, something like that, emphasis on the waist, the curve of the body, right? So it's, it really leans into the femininity, but the execution of this is very radiant. It's bright colors, it's dramatic accessories, visually complex textures, lots of jewelry and statement bags, so again, playing with that vision of femininity, but making it really strong. And then a final vision for you is the sophisticated, sexy, intimidating. These are figure hugging outfits, which are very polished. I would say even a bit formal, like heels, leather shoes, structured bags, sunglasses, sleek hair, statement jewelry, strong colors. It's kind of like, She's sexy, but you're a bit like nervous around her. For the four style keys, I gave you some visions. These are starting ideas. These are not an exhaustive list. I'm sorry if your brand of sexy wasn't on the list. I love doing these aesthetic breakdowns. I hope you enjoy it too. So let me know if you liked it. Let me know if there's any aesthetic you want to see. And in the meantime, check out my previous aesthetic videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.